What's going on everyone? This is David with All Beach Everything again, giving you another playing tip to help you out with your beach game. And today I'm going to be covering how to pull off the net, both into the cross and down the line. And we're going to be focusing on Sean Scott here. He's going to be our blocker we're going to be looking at. And in this clip, he's going to first pull into the cross. The play's going to continue. He's going to pull down the line twice after that. So there's him pulling into the cross. Sets a little iffy. He just had to roll shot. Pulls down the line. A little pokey. Said not that good again. And once again, pulls back down the line. But this time, Hyden puts the ball away for the point. Now as I go forward again to the beginning. So, usually when you're pulling into the cross, it's because you're pulling your call, which is means, um, for those of you know, pulling whatever your block is. So, in this instance, he's probably blocking cross. And Hyden's already shading towards the left side of the court here, and he's probably ready to move into the line. So, as a blocker, if you need to pull, and you know that your partner's going to be on that uh, line side of the play, then you're going to need to obviously pull into the cross over here. Now, usually with this kind of counterintuitive that the indoor game, they always tell you to keep your hips open into the court and square into the court. With the cross court pull, you actually want to turn your hips the other way. So as I go forward just a little bit more. All right, so you see right here, how his hips are pointed outward instead of pointing in towards the court. And you want to have him pointing outwards initially, so that way you can at least cover the short cutty shot. So if they were to hit this shot over here, or some version of that, you're basically right in line with it where you can pick that up real easily. It's only after the ball gets set that you start to eliminate options. So you're reading the set, you're reading the hitter, the arm angle, their approach, um, if they're moving forwards, backwards, um, if it's tighter off the net. So as that set goes up, you're gonna be eliminating options. But first you wanna put yourself in position to cover that short cutty because they're probably not gonna hit the ball too hard since you're pulling off the net. Now, once you take a few steps off and you decide whether or not they're likely to hit that cutty shot, that's when you swing your hips around like he did here and get ready to just play defense into the cross. Usually the deep cross, deep middle. Um, since they probably won't hit that sharp angle over here. Let me do that again. Over here, since once again you're pulling off the net, those traditional shots that you'd be looking to cover on defense probably aren't as likely. So you'd be looking to cover shots that's usually either deep uh, cross seam as well as into the middle and deep corner usually not so much but every now and then they will try and jumbo it into the deep corner there so usually as you pull the line you want to be a little bit shaded more towards the sideline and just be ready to have to shift your weight in towards the middle again um, but in this case he was okay and decent enough position to get a good touch on it as it did go into the middle and it's usually good to shade towards the middle being the cross court defender because any ball that does go in towards the middle whether if it's serve receive or on defense it's the cross court player's responsibility to cover that shot so he got a good touch on that and we'll run this forward again now to cover the line drop now Instead of turning our hips outwards, like with the cross-court drop initially, you always want to turn your hips inward on the line drop. And that's because when you're usually out on the line, you're as far out as you need to be. So there isn't any other court to, in this case, to the right of you. You usually be right around here. There really isn't any more court for you to cover to the right of you over here. All of the play is going to be coming this way. So as you drop off the line, you always want to turn inward. Now if the set is a little bit further inside, you still want to swing your hips so that you're pointed in towards the court 
but just kind of progressively move in towards that line just very slowly so not a very sharp cut not just like one step back and then another sharp cut towards the line but just slowly progressively make your way towards that line uh, apparently Scott has difficulty with his own footwork um, turning the correct way because he did this twice dropping down towards the line and he kind of got bailed out since the defender hit basically right at him and actually in towards the middle but if he hit anywhere towards the high line Scott would not have been able to really cover that because he already had his hips trying to turn around one way and then to turn it around again would have been extremely difficult so he got bailed out there and so again, it, again he has trouble with the line drop apparently see how he turned his hips outward so on the line you always want to take that inside hip when you're dropping down the line inside hip inside leg drop that back first and then you're probably going to cross over your legs once or twice just to get you, your momentum going after that it should be just a strong back pedal down the line that way you're square you can easily stop come forward if they hit short and it also puts you in position to go either right or left from that position. All right, so that's it on pulling off the net as a blocker. Uh, if you want to get more tips, more tutorials, want to get more beach volleyball news and posts, visit allbeacheverything.blogspot.com.